Hey guys, me again, Orc Slayer, what ifs, where we last left off on the Bell, what if, what if Bell was a dragonborn, a dragon started burning the city where Bell, Hag, Hagar, or, like, Hagar, yeah, Hagar, or Harangar, Hagar, there we go, and Zalok, were, who were assisting the non-heretic, quote-unquote, dragon cultists when they were about to break down the walls. The city right now is being burned by this dragon. Nobody knows why. And they're rushing off to find their superior, their dragon priest. As they're rushing off, like other people are like on fire and they're trying to put themselves out. Bell's like, everyone! Bell's like, uh, what do we do? As Bell's rushing with them, as like, let's, as like they see one guy on fire, it's like, Bell's trying to find something. As they like pretty much just start like petting on him and like trying to step on him, it's like, He's like, put me out! As Bell and them are trying to stop him, eventually the dragon comes for another round. Deku pretty much grabs Hagar and Zalog and like jumps with them into an alley. As it's like, no! As the guy was just went over again by scorching fire. It's like, try to stick to the alleys. As they're rushing, they're trying to get out. Till eventually a group of heretics like climb out from the sewers. Which they had no idea. Like they thought those were sealed off. As they, like, come out, the other one, like, they start rushing at Deku and them. It's like, oh, not Deku, Bell and them. As B Zalonk is just, like, chain lightning as he fries them. As they, then they rush off to go m try to g meet up with their superiors. The dragon priest doesn't have has no idea what's going on either. <laughs> He's freaking out just as much as they are. It's like, Why? <laughs> As eventually, like, they meet up with the dragon priest, and as they're about to speak with him, the dragon lands down and just chomps him up and, like, shakes him up and just throws him into a wall. Bell and them are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. As the dragon turns its head and starts, like, looking at him as it turns its entire body, as Bell and Deku are just like, well, not Deku, but Bell, Hagar, and Zalok are just like, Looking at it as Bell keeps his eyes straight, but the other two are like looking downward as Bell keep like stands straight up. As even the dragon's about to say something to Bell in the dragon tongue, but then arrows just start laying, raining down on, on it, down on it with fireballs and lightning strikes being hit at it from the heretics as it flies up and then immediately starts burning the city. As Bell talks with Hagar and Zalok, okay, let's try to round people up and get out of here. It's like, all right, Bell. As Hagar's like, and Zalok's quiet, like he's kept quiet. It's like, come on, let's go. As they immediately start rushing out, as they start saying, get out of the city, run, retreat, retreat. As ever, like eventually some people start taking their advice as the siege is being abandoned from the inside of the city. As Deku and like them are like leading a small troop of people around 20. As they're running out it's like move, run, run. As they get out of the city. And as they're trying to exit the city they're stopped by other dragon cultists. Saying that the dragon has deemed the city worthy of destruction. That anyone else trying to leave is to be, well, you know, killed. As like, That doesn't make any sense. As is what some of the troops are trying to say. But the other dragon coasts are like, that is, is how it's supposed to be. As when they see the dragon going around for another run. Bell decides, like, alright. As he looks at Zalok giving a nod. As immediately Zalok lets out a little explosion of lightning. As it fries up some of the first guys, as it's like, force, force them out, as they like immediately charge in, clashing with the ancient, these dragon cultists, as Bell and them fight through them, trying to force their way out, and they're succeeding to an extent. There was like pretty much only a skeleton crew, essentially, since most of the forces were inside of the city, with Bell and them forcing their way out. As when other people like start seeing like how saw them run and take down the guards, they start rushing out as it was a bit of a battle. They lost like a few guys. As Bell and them rush outward to the city they're trying to escape. 
they eventually are able to like settle outside with them like as like they see the bonfire as when it's like okay let's just rest here as they all like wait in a forest that was nearby as in the morning they like t get wake up and they like walk back to the city as the city is burned stone is blackened and when they walk inside the city they just see nothing but charred corpses or ash as there's no sign of the dragon the dragon's completely gone as they're all walking inward and they're like what happened as when they get to the inner city where they were supposed to force their way into the inner keep that place is completely burned down as bell and them like are like what do we do as when they got to the outskirts of the city, like, on the, like, where the walls, like, outside of the walls, even that was burned to cinders. The people never saw it coming. As with Deku and that, all of them, like, being there, they are all like, alright. So they all take seats, like, as they all sit down. As they all, like, all are just sitting there in disbelief. Until eventually... Like, for, like, uh, several hours, several, like, Bell just, like, gets up and just starts walking. It's like, as several of them look at Bell as he's walking away, it's like, Bell, wh where are you going, is what Hagar says. And he's like, I'm going home. As he makes his way back, starts walking his way back to the village. As several of the other, like, dra like, what they assume, what Bell, like, are conscripts, essentially, look at, like, everyone else as they like stand up and walk with Bell. As the Locke and Hagnar are questioning themselves, Hagar decides after like a while to follow Bell and such. The Locke decides to stay behind. As he takes more of a time like trying to question as he was the one with the greater amount of faith, you could say. As they leave and a few of the other dragon cultists stay with them. When Hagar leaves, that causes several others. So around... Uh, like, 12 to have left. And there's Zalok and, like, a uh, Zalok and... Let's see, three. Sorry. Like, f three others with Zalok. As they just, like, hang out on, the, like, eventually just getting up and leaving. As they don't know what to do, so Zalok and Hagnar essentially, I'll recount, recount what I said, Hagnar like starts making his way back to like the city that he was training in, deciding may maybe they would have answers there. Zalok looked around for any other survivors and left. As over a period of days, Deku, well not Deku, Bell like is speaking with the warriors that are following him, as they all say they were cons, like essentially forced into the cult as they're all returning home as they all live in the villages actually like the guards that like bell has had joint operations with like where several villages will band together with several guards that being said they they make to bell's village first as they walk in other people got tense but when they saw like them they had, their armor wasn't blackened, it was just more or less covered in a gray. As when Bell, like, got home, his parents were looking at him, like, his mother went to go embrace him. As then he, like, didn't, like, hug her, he, like, took a step back. As it's like, Bell, is what his father says. He says, come inside, as he opens the door. As Bell walks up with no question, no words or anything, he just sits down. It's like, so, what happened, Bell? As he's just quiet, just looking, sort of dead eyes. He still has no idea what's going on. He's like, in this entire time, he has said a total of, like, only, like, four times he has he spoken. Like, well, four or five. First was, I'm going home. Second was, we stay here tonight. Others was, I'm moving, oh, I'm going home. As they, like, went up with that work for several days. As, like, the soldiers and them, well, the cultists and such just walked home. 
all of them eventually making it to their homes, and Belle was the first to arrive at his. As when he, like, got on, like, felt his hands, he looked at his hands covered with ash. As he walked up to, like, where the guards were, and it's like, Belle, where, as they look at him, as he walks past them, goes to where his armor is set up, and then, like, just takes off this cultist armor and puts on the normal guard armor as then he just like sits in the chair n never talking or anything until eventually one of them's like bell um it's time to go on patrol as bell looks at him is like yes sir as he stands up it's like all right bell come on as nobody ha is asking him what was it like there that's a big no no <laughs> as bell can goes on until eventually gets over his shell shock state after li being around with the guards for several times. Now, as for Zalok and Hagnar, as they returned home, they were questioned by the officials as they said the dark dragon just started burning everything. Everyone just, as they make up a lie, everyone just started running. So they did too. Others who believed that was just confined to the city stayed, but they were torched. And you went where? Uh, to the forest, sir, is what Hagar says. Zalox, in a more calmed state, saying that, yes, we had another one with us, our friend Bell, but he left with several others to return to the farms, or to the villages where they stayed at, since that was the entire reason they were brought up into a cult, is to assist with the situation. It's like, hmm. Well, the other rebellions are being quelled quickly. Well, one of them, that one was quelled rather quickly. But we may have to call on them again to fight against several of the others. The entire other part of this Skyrim, and Skyrim has rebelled. They have massive armies at the ready and are holding their forts vigorously. And a few of the dragons have even fallen to them using catapults, ballistas, and hordes of archers. Magic and all other manners are being used to bring down the overlord, the dragons. As he speaks, it's like, well, well, Dova, meaning dragons. As they don't use the term dragons in normal language, but they just say, like, in specific parts, it's like they all use... Other, like the language of dragons, like Croesus, which I mean, which I believe means, s not sorrow. It's like sorrow or something. Uh, yeah, sorrow and such. And then there's like, uh, a few others. I believe Mirac means traitor. And so on and so on. But they'll say a few words, like, Dova, Fus, meaning, I believe, force. Then there's Yol, which means fire. Stuff like that. As Bell stays at the other places for a while. Eventually having an uh, Inquisitor, or a, another Dragon Priest, coming up to question... <sighs> coming up to question him about the whole thing. As he gives a very similar thing that... Uh, Hagar and Zalot gave to the person. As he comes to understand this and leaves. Several months later, after, like, they've settled down and Bell's gone over it, it's like, as everyone, like, one day is, like, as they are, like, all kneeling, like, when they return from a patrol, they're like, what's wrong? As then they just hear a roar or something in the air. As when they look up, Bell sees it as then he's just like starts to kind of shake a little bit as it's like Bell it's okay it's okay Bell's kind of shell shocked <laughs> he felt a connection to the dragon when it looked at him though so he's it's odd you know he feels scared of it yet a certain connection with it as the dragon lands as Bell's like that's the same dragon as it looks at uh, like as it's looking over the village as then it sees Bell as it speaks in the language of dragons which I will not speak it 
I can't speak it. I don't know the entire language, but in dragon language, and I'll say Bell can understand this, as everyone else hears this, like, he more or less understands what it's saying or gets a certain gist of it, is how he gets along. He doesn't know how to, like, write it, speak it, and f actual words, but it's like, hmm, you seem to have the soul of a Dova. You have the spirit of a Dova, yet, or like them. Hmm. Interesting. I will be back, and others with me. As then he, like, after looking at Bell and speaking, everyone took, like, severe reverence to this. As everyone else kneeled, Bell was about to kneel, but it says, No. Stunned. As then he, like, stands up completely. And then it gives him the little speech. Hmm. As it takes one quick look at the village and then flies up. As Bell's, like, shaking somewhat, as everyone's, like... As Bell puts down, just walks into the house and closes the door. As Bell's family are like, what's up? As he's just sitting there. As when the dragon doesn't return necessarily, but eventually, like, cultists come in, like, very religious looking clothing. As it says, we have come for Bell. In, like, a word. In like a, as it's wearing, as they're wearing like very religious, highly decorative clothing and armor. As then Bell like comes out as it's just like, see, goes to grab his sword and puts in like his sheath. It's like, good luck, Bell, where are you going? He's like, I don't know. As he's still thinking about this, thinking long and hard. As he follows the group. With them looking at Bell like, uh, the Lord Pothanax wanted him. It's like, hmm. As with that being said, Bell and like eventually arrives to Parthenax, or his place, as he speaks to them, asking them to leave, except for the one to translate. As he starts. Speaking as Bell doesn't understand until like under gets a feeling from it, but doesn't entirely understand it in a way. As then the person com like speaks fully to him as it explains, you have so you are, but also not Dova. Interesting, curious, but unknown. Tell me, do you know who, wh do you have the thum, is what the dragon says, as he just like sh shakes his head, then allow me to teach, or at least seeing like testing Bell to see if he could breathe it, as he breathes fire on the ground, as it and pretty much writes out the word of power, as then it's like, Duva. As he, like, looks at it, as Bell starts looking at it, and it's just like, if it was a game, it would be like, Ha, ha, he, ha, 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 uh, As in Parthenax, sees Bell can somewhat comprehend the word that was just read. It's odd, like I said. He doesn't understand it completely. He just understands some things. As in Parthenax would try to teach Bell how to use it. As he says, feel it in, as like the priest is relaying the instructions, as it's like, feel it. And as then Bell eventually does a whole yol, fire shout. As the priest, or priestess, whichever you prefer, is astonished. As it's like, what? As Parthenax starts speaking. In the human language. So, you are Dova. Or at least, your spirit is. I am Parthenax. And welcome. As Bell says, what? A soul of a dragon? That doesn't make sense. 
It's like, ah, but it does. Dova R. As he goes on with an explanation of the Dova Kin. As he speaks on how in the past that Alduin is said to have was supposed to be destroyed by the part by the by the um dragonborn. As he goes on to tell Bell that he believes that it, you are the one to succeed. I shall train you in the ways of the Thun, in the ways of the Dova. It's like, why? It's like, Pass and our Elduin has become too cruel of a master, and the dragon cults kill lives unnecessarily. Yesterday, that heretic group was destroyed on the orders of Alduin. As he goes on to explain Bell certain events and Akatosh and all of them, as Akatosh and all those gods were kept secret from Bell and them, as he speaks saying that Akatosh, our father, blessed you with the soul of a Dova. You, he intends you to end Alduin's reign. As with speaking with Bell, he is eventually, as Parthenax says, I will teach you again, like in the ways of the Dova. As he starts, like, as he, like, tells Bell to, like, to, like, as he would be staying there with them, as he's at the throat of the world. And he has a very small group that's dedicated to the worship of him. The. The. Village that's down the mountain worships him still, but, you know... Sorry? As he continues to speak with Bell, the rebellions, as you might have heard it, are not as small as you, as the cult would have you to believe. There are many across the world, and many are still thriving, killing dragons, being led. They are... Extraordinary. But ones in Skyrim have yet to take hold, for this is capital of Alduin's empire. As Deku says, what would you have me do? I will train you and teach you of the Thum, and my warriors will train you in combat, so that you may one day challenge Alduin. As Bell says, yes, master. As he, like, takes a knee before him, as it's like, you do not bow to me, Dragonborn, or Dovakin. In fact, as he bows his head to him, I bow to you. Sire of Akatosh, and Dova Hunter, or Dova, Dovakin. As then he goes on, as with years of Bell being away, like he's trained every day by the warriors, like every day as he, these warriors, like Bell may be good for like a guard or dragon cultist, but these guys that are serving Parthenax are on a whole nother le level. As they too, like they believe in Parthenax and will follow him, and that... He has told the priestess, at the very least, of his plans. And they know that Bell is the Dova Kin. As in, like, they speak to him in, like, somewhat of a revered manner. As he has taught them, like, taught them the religion of Akatosh, Kinnerif, Stendar, uh, Debella. Uh, I forget the rest. Uh, there isn't Talos yet, so. With that being said, they all, you know do what they would do as Bell is thrown around the ringer by a lot as with daily like pretty much daily things of being taught how to use the thum as like using shouts and such with Parthenax teaching him several words and Bell can voice a lot of these words in a way he even has dragon aspect dragon aspect uh, unrelenting force Whirlwind, Sprint, Mark of Death, uh, Frost Breath, Fire Breath, and uh, 
Storm Call is like one of his more powerful ones, which allows it like pretty much summons an entire storm around him, as it will send lightning strikes. As he understands this, he like thinks as he like this is his final day as Parthenax says, "No, Bell." As Bell is decorated in like some nice looking armor that has dragons like engraved into it. Like dragon armored engraved into it. As he speaks to Bell. As Bell has gone off a few times helping the people in the village as they were attacked by several things of bandits. As Bell listens to Parthenax, Bell, this will be your final task for today. As is like, what is it, Master Parthenax? As he speaks to him, you are to fight me. To fully test your capability of the Thun must be pitted against my own. Only when an apprentice surpasses his master has he truly been trained well. As Bell says, if that is our my goal, I will not, I will not, I will not stop Parthenax, as I intend you not to. As he says, very well. We begin, as then he flies up, as Bell like takes a kneel and prays to Akatosh, Agatosh, father of dragons, leader of the eight, give me strength, as then he finishes that small little prayer, as he lifts up his sword, and then they start their battle, as sh in, like even from the throat of the world, they can hear that, even other dragons can hear, a massive battle going on between two powerful thooms. As several of them think, what? As Alduin is not within Skyrim at the moment, he is calling other things. As with a few dragons hear this, as they fly to the, p the throat of the world, as Bell, as they see a mortal in their eyes shouting at Parthenax. With him actually matching, if not getting even better than Parthenax. As Parthenax goes to breathe fire, Bell breathes frost, saying, uh, how does that go? There's like frost breath, or they're countering each one. As eventually he does a final Fus Roda, hitting Parthenax as it causes him to lose balance as he f crashes to the ground. As he rushes over, prepared to end Parthenax's life. As like, as Parthenax admits his defeat, as he stands up, as he looks around, as is like, it seems we have been found out, Dovahkiin. As several of the other dragons I are either are either enraged or intrigued, as one of them speaks to Parthenax, saying, "Parthenax, who is this?" He has the thumb. He is mortal yet. He is Dovakin. The time for Alduin's reign is at an end. Several of them who follow Parthenax, not follow Parthenax, but follow Alduin, get enraged by this. As a few of the others don't. As Bell is around 23 at this point. He was like, a, well, 23, 24. 25 maybe as it takes years to master shouts and bell has mastered them like it, he isn't just like you know like how it says oh you can like just look at dragon words and learn it and since he hasn't been able to eat dragon souls to like gain their knowledge he's been able he's been like sort of forced to like meditate and such as parthenax would on words of power and how to use them as with the dragons who are enraged, and the ones who have want proof of this, as the other ones come rushing at Bell, as Bell says, Parthenax, I will do this. My power of my thune shall prevail over theirs. As the first one comes running down, as it's like, in Alduin's name, you will die. As he starts breathing fire, as, well, frost, as Bell counteracts with his fire breath. As quickly... Like, very quickly, as a Fusro, like a fire breath, then ice breath, then mark of death, then unrelenting forced. As this dragon is sh shouted into a wall, as Bell rushes forward, 
taking a sword and stabbing it right into the head, ending it. As a dragon dies, everyone's just like, Oof, he is, he is not Dovahkiin. As then, after they say that, immediately the soul is just torn from this dragon. As Bell eats it, essentially, he's just like, nom 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 nom. As with that, there several of them are wide eyed, and several of them come to attack Bell. As Bell uses like his shouts and his sword to his best of ability, as he strikes down each of the dragons, as each one has pretty much been, you know, killed, and at the end of it, five dragons are dead, and then there's just one left as he like lands and bows down, as he was the weakest of these dragons, and bows down. I acknowledge the power of your Thum, Dragonborn. And I acknowledge you, Pothanax. As then he says, My, I am at your beck and call. As he has come to respect and actually see Bell as a worthy challenger to Alduin's title. Or not title. As Bell says, What do we do now, Parthenax? It's like, Now we will now Others, ha others have heard your thune, and will most likely come. For now, we, as he says, your armor is good, but not the best. As he speaks to Bell, saying that the dragon's scales are tough as I steel, and are as light as our bones are as tough as steel, and as light as leather. Our scales and bones will make fine weapons. As he says this, Bell's like, but who here has the skill? He's like, you will forge it yourself, Bell. Imbue it with your thum. As Bell, like, is brought the necessary materials. As he doesn't understand the first thing about smithing, but he says, okay, he'll try his best. Ah, as then he uses his thum to light, to superheat, like, the thing. As he has to use metal in creating it, as, like, sort of a binding, to, like, keep it all stuck to a place. As he starts creating his armor. As he creates, sorry, oof. Heavy armor with a, a one-handed dragon bone sword with a sh heavy shield. As he stands there, as it's just like, you, Dova Keaton. As Bell, like, ag like acknowledges his Parthenax and this other dragon. But what is my course now, Parthenax? I cannot just attack Alduin. For my numbers are not great. As he says, on the other side of Tamri on Skyrim. The last resistant, last holdout of the rebellion stands firm. You are to go there and assist them. I will stay here to maintain our cover, as will you, as he speaks to the other dragon. Forget what has happened here today. Wait till the time is right, till we can strike at Alduin. It's like, yes, Parthenax. As he says, good luck, Dragonborn. May you, may Akatosh guide you. As then he like flies up and flies away. Like, very well, Master. As he sheathes his sword and starts making his way down the mountain. As he, when he gets down there, the priestess and all the warriors are waiting for him. As they all take a knee and kneel before him. Dragonborn, we have thank, we thank you for being a gracious Master. As they say, we will, unfortunately, we may not leave with you, but we can provide you with these, as they provide them with provisions and money. Go forth, and may Alduin's reign be swift, and yours be long. It's like, thank you all for being so gracious. I thank you, as he gives a bow, and may we all meet again. Either in Sovngarde, 
as that's what he's been taught by Sovereign Guard or or here at the summit of the world or the throat of the world as he leaves walking down the 7,000 steps as he starts on his journey all the way to go to I'll do it well the last holdout which I'll say in this case is a uh, Mark Hearth, which is like around the area of Mark Hearth, where the world is, where the place is made out of stone and such. Sorry, ah. Oh. As it's like embedded into a mountain, I'll say before then, like it's not embedded into a mountain yet, and there are no dragons burning the place. It's just cultists raging a war. As it takes Mont Bell weeks, maybe even close to months. Like over almost a month to reach his destination. As he had fought through groups of bandits and heretics who thought he was a dragon cultist. As they came charging at him, Bell's like, cease, as he uses a word of power. Like, foos. Like, f get, causing them all to stagger as he says, who are you? He's like, we fight against the dragon cult. Their tyranny must end. He's like, I agree. I'm making my way to the city of Markarth to assist them in their defense. To finally end the tyranny of Alduin. As it's like, really? It's like, there are out numbers, surrounded even. There is no way you would be able to help. This may be true, but I must try. I care not for if you do uh, come with me. In fact, I advise against it. Go forth and spread the word, if you wish. Bring others under the banner, so that way we may free ourselves from the tyranny, as he goes on his merry way. Eventually coming to like a place close to it, as there's camps of dragon cultists everywhere, as he starts making his way, as dragon cultists after dragon cultists questions him, and they take note of his armor being... Dragon plate. As several of them accuse him of being a heretic, as Bell stays quiet at that po part, as then they all draw their weapons and charge at Bell, as one swings his axe, as it just bounces off his armor, as he's like, What? As then Bell s just uses his thumb as he shouts him apart. As the other's like, What? But that's him. As Bell uses his fire breath to burn them. Making his way to Markarth, eventually arriving at the summit where the city is being sieged. As it's a large open area with hundreds, if not thousands, like thousands, well, hundreds, if not thousands of troops outside the walls. The warriors firing arrows and keeping them off. As people see the silhouette approaching over the, as cultists like look back and see him, they speak saying, who are you, as Bell says keeps quiet as it's like state your name and business as dragon priests come and like at the front as it's a leader as it's like in the name of Alduin and his pre and his brothers who are you as Bell just keeps quiet as like hmm, he must be a heretic kill him as he like gives a signal as when the warriors go to touch Bell he says Fus. as the dragon priest is like what then Roda Eventually, it's like, what the? As several soldiers, like, even, like, the dragon priests jumped out of the way. But, like, call, like an entire column of soldiers are just sent flying everywhere. As that sent seen from behind, it's like, what? As the warriors turn their back from the city and then come charging down at Bell, he then invokes Storm Call as it's like, huh, whatever, as he says it. As it's just like the world lightning strikes just started blasting down into the crowd. As people are just sent flying. And are burned to crisp from the lightning strikes. As he uses his thumb to his best of his ability. Using fire breath, frost breath, even eternal and slowed down time. As he bobs and weaves through troops as he slices through them. As eventually the entire army before him is slain. As the entire army, like I said, before him is slain. Sorry about that. Like everyone over the like in the city sees this as there's dragon police 
priest literally littering everywhere. As eventually he approaches the gate and they just open it. They say, uh, who are you? He's like, I am Dovahkiin. Dovahkiin. And I will see Alduin's reign ended. In the name of Akatosh, I will assist you. As they say, who's Akatosh? As he thinks to himself, hmm, seems I must teach him of the gods and, as well. As he gives a quick summary of who Akatosh is, and Alduin has, f for too long, reigned dominion and placed false idols. As he says this, the others, like, several of them, like, get down on their knees, like, start sort of giving praise to him, saying, Then you are Dovakin, sired of Akatosh, or Dragonborn. It's like, yes, and w together we shall finally put a reign to his end, put an end to his reign and tyranny. It's like, uh, all right. As then he set, speaks to them, I will attempt to teach you as well. If there are any among you who wish, who I will see fit to learn. As with that being said, Kinnereth, I believe, is the goddess that bestows people the gift. Of using the Thum aside from the Dragonborn. As with that, event, of Bell officially joins the Rebellion. As then, that's where I'm getting this one off at. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. Hope y'all continue to enjoy it. And I hope y'all have a nice day, nice night, nice life.